Well, hello and good morning. And welcome to the first spring emergency Beano of 2017. Yes, it's March and I'm talking in a meteorological bent. Saturday 4th March 2017, checks watch 0630 oh, hours. It's light. Okay, dawn's only just dawn, but there you go. It's chilly, there's no wind, it's dry, there's a lot of rain forecast later. Although yesterday's lot of rain didn't quite appear, which I can cope with. And you can probably tell by the direction I'm pointing in that I'm going this way towards Newport and the dawn. This must be just getting quite boring, but I don't care. So here's the first of the day and a slightly different seat. Long story, but a nice view. Oh, you can just see the car park of the pen and wig. Anyway, apparently this is supposed to be in cans. I did try the online ordering. Which have a big sign outside, but when you go into it, it says not on there yet, coming soon. Flying dog, doggy style pale ale, oh, ho oh, oh. or not. 5.5% alcohol by volume, I can't remember if I've had it before. And it's light, and it's completely light, and it's not raining. Nice hoppy aroma. Mm. I'm going to come back to that because it's still a bit cold but really nice bit of finish I think it'll have a little bit more body ok it's looking like a B++ I will confirm so the update didn't quite get to a B++ B plus in a bit a really nice bit of finish though I like it Maybe just a little thin. You drink your beer, you pay your chops. Whatever that means. Number two. Look, blue sky. Number four. So we start with the carpet. And then we move over to... I haven't seen this in bottles before. As Gaza Prescott may or may not say, this is pale twiggy juice. Basically, your basic gold leaf and fuggles. Rumley Gold, 4.2% alcohol by volume, nothing to do with Rumley's. Brewed in blind oven? Where it's cold. To be honest, despite the fact it's a little bit cold, it's not bad. In fact, it's better than average, so it's B plus and a bit, which I'm pleased about. I think it's open. It's been a while. I yeah, gonna have a crack. Nice bit of carpet. Hello. Okay. Helen Voile. Oh, I don't know if you call it Helen Voile or Feeling Foul. Double Dragon. Looks nice. Well presented. 4.2% alcohol by volume. Branded glass. Not keen. B. 2.5 out of 5. Not keen at all. Never mind. A wig. It's owned by the same people in the carpenters. <sighs> the Wi-Fi issues eventually got on. I was trying to avoid the music, but oh, missed it. Skidded Welsh something or other from the Tudor Brewery, uh, which is on the way to Abitleri. 4.2% alcohol by volume in a brains glass. Nice bit of carpet for Mr. Manning. 
Saka sata yanu taivi. Highly okay. B plus. And the rain has now started. Oh yeah, it's been chips. I'm in. Yeah, it's not I'm in. I love daffs. They're even out in my garden this time of year. Anyway, I'm drinking a this, which is sure, which I've already spilt. Janet's treat from the Brew Foundation. According to this, it's actually brewed by Winkle Beer Co. 4.8% alcohol by volume. A rich cherry chocolate porter. Apparently, it's part of my five stroke ten a day. I smell coffee and I smell chocolate. And I'm getting a hint of um, cherry. And it's quite a bitter finish. I think it'd be plus a little bit. I'm liking it. In a tiny rubber brandy glass. Did I slurp? I don't know. This is Snafu, 4.4% alcohol by volume. A pale ale. I love the dafts. Colour correction. Test. Gently mm, hot. Ooh, acidic, lemony. Okay, I'm gonna go B plus plus because the finish is great. It's a huge lemony finish.